alone in my chocolatic. I don't wanna stare at the moon, become romantic. I don't wanna sit alone in my chocolatic. I don't wanna stare at the moon, become romantic. All I need is something new in my life. All I need is something new in my life. All I need is something new. The Rebel is my favorite kite just because it's really intuitive in the way that it turns and depowers and feeling connected to your kite and in sync with what it's doing when you're surfing a wave or, or jumping or just riding for that matter is pretty much the best thing you can look for in a free ride kite. We knew we wanted to make the Rebel really smooth so that it doesn't luff and doesn't flutter very much. And the place where most of the fluttering comes from on a kite is on the sides in this area. So we moved this quarter strut down a little bit closer to the tip strut to make this flutter prone area a little smaller. And we flattened out the canopy in the area with some fairly subtle seam shaping that makes this area a lot less fluttery and less, less prone to luffing which as a result makes the kite turn more smoothly, handle gusts more smoothly, and makes the bar feel steadier so that it's not shaking every time you sheet out. I guess I could make a car analogy here. You know, you know the road is rough and wind noise is loud, but you don't really feel it inside an expensive, well-built car. And the same thing with kites. If the kite's really well designed and built, you don't feel the impact of changes in the wind and you don't feel the fluttering and luffing so much. Another thing we've done with the new Rebel is gone to a more square tip, what we're calling the adaptive tip. And uh, this includes an adjustable backline bridle. This gives us a little more adjustability for bar feel and turning speed. So if you want a harder bar feel, you can adjust the backline like this. Uh, with the, using the lower knot, and if you want a softer bar feel, you can move the forward bridle line to the knot closer to the kite tip, and you get a little less feedback, meaning lighter bar pressure, but slightly quicker turning and softer power development. I think pro riders in general usually like the harder sheeting force setting just because it allows you to feel more connected to the kite whereas free riders usually enjoy the, the softer uh, shooting force setting just because it's a bit more comfortable. The fifth element system is the safest system in kite surfing. It allows me to launch in some super sketchy places where I would never launch with four lines. New in my life, all I need is something new.